Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect on a Sunday night. Yes, indeed. I hope everybody is doing well. The markets are about to open uh, relatively soon here. So we are going to uh, take a look at those markets and see how it's going when they do open up. Let me just make sure that Elevation. Got I do have... Uh, Volume here, very good. So let's get into it with the comments. We got Mr. Octopus is first all the way from the Great White North in Canada. Coon and Coins is here. Good to see you guys. Woodbridge says on the uh, there's more of the silver out there than we thought video. Steve San Angelo of uh, the SRS Rocket Report just published a reply to Jan's article debunking his conclusions regarding the above ground supply of silver. I doubt that Sal will highlight this article as it doesn't appear to, to doesn't support Sal's uh, view that silver is cheap because it is abundant. Well, I will definitely check it out, Woodbridge. If you could do me a favor, Woodbridge, email me uh, a link to that article so I don't forget, and I will do a video on it because I definitely want to check it out. Actually, uh, from some of the stuff that Steve San Angelo has done there, I respect him. And some of his views, but I do want to keep it a balanced viewpoint. So yes, if there's a conflicting article that shows something different, that sound logical advice or information, I will check into it. So either email it to me as, as a reminder. Arian uh, Lopez, neither junk silver only. Uh, so he thinks junk silver is uh, as a uh, when silver spot price is to go, junk silver is, or what I call constitutional silver is definitely a good way to buy silver on the cheap for sure. But you got to be careful where you buy it from. And we've got Juan Ortiz here. We've got the Stacking Nerd here. Hope you're doing all right, Stacking Nerd. Good to see you. We've got Terry79. Hello. And Barbara Carbone. And Spectacular says, hello, darkness, my old friend. All right. Nice to see you again. All right. No notifications. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, that you can't rely on the notifications. You got to rely on the schedule, the schedule, as I say, in the United Kingdom. So I'm here uh, 6 o'clock almost always on these following nights, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Hello. All right. And Steve Gerard is here and uh, with a super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. And he asked me the question, have you ever seen The Crown? Yes, in fact, I, I'm catching up. I've, I've finished season one now. Yay, yay, yay. Season one of The Crown is done. And so the question is, is have you guys seen The Crown? All right, good to see you. Hello, Donald in New Mexico. Good to see you. Yes, good to see Spectacular here. He had a live stream the other day. Boy, he was killing it. A lot of people there showed up. All right, very good. Uh, Arian Lopez, even though I collect ASCs and generic silver rounds. Okay, very good. Thank you. Moving on up here. Mason jar lids as currency. Now, there you go. Hey, that is, that would, probably would be needed in the aftermath of a SHTF scenario. This is on uh, uh, Will Gold and Silver Survive an Economic Collapse video. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Good to see you guys. All right, as we move here, Keith High says, let it drop. I've been saying so for a long time now. Yes, Keith High has been bullish on bearish prices for silver. That's very true. All right, very good. We got 29 watching now. We got five thumbs up as we wait the witching hour when the market's open. We're going to take a look here momentarily. Mark Nor uh, uh, Nordgaard says, like I said days ago, gold and silver will crash on Friday. After fake news from Bloomberg and fake employment news. Oh, yeah. Well, they came down, but I don't think those were fake numbers that came out there. All right. Let's see. You're taking any guess on direction the market. Silver will move. We'll find out. Hello, Ophi Matrix. I think the silver is probably going to be languishing for a while longer, uh, especially if they come up with, um, uh, especially if, if they sign a, a phase one trade deal, we'll see. Mr. Popzilla, good to see you. Mr. Popzilla, he says hello on this gold, the silver and gold drop. Why it's a good thing. Very good. My comment is blank. I need. I better post something in there before it happens here. Very good. All right. Yes. Always good to see you guys. Chris Malloy gives me a little happy face there. All right. Very good. All right. Hello, Native Stacker. Good to see you. And Steve Gerard. I think he said he was at work. 
He's uh, uh, at work. Uh, had to say hi. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate it, my friend. A slurp in your honor, my friend. Mm. Uh, Silver Steeler, do you know anyone who needs a gold statue? Yes. Well, I'm procuring a loan for it right now, man. I have you of you and Winning Image Photography help me design it, and she can take a picture of it. Hello, James Bates. Good to see you. Oh, great bearded one. Good to see you. Ophi Matrix. Yes, good to see you, Ophi Matrix, my friend. All right, let the silver crash begin, says Alan Gold. We're going to find out right now if that is indeed happening. Well, let's go down here to the Asian markets. Uh, they will open in three minutes. Well, that three minutes is up. Let's refresh this son of a biscuit. And off to the races. There they are. Gold is down $1.20, down 0.08%. Silver is down two cents, 0.09%. Platinum is down a buck, $8.99. So, yes, indeed, uh, the metals are moving downwards, except for palladium. Palladium is on fire, 1885, on its way up to $1,900 an ounce. Yes, indeed. Okay. Mm. And we've got the one and the only Silver Wolverine here with us tonight. Good to see you, Silver Wolverine. Hello, sir. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right, we'll come back to these markets momentarily. Let's go back to the comments and see what people are saying about this, that, and the other. With, more, with an emphasis on the other. Chris Molloy says, I am... I am debating between precious metals. In your personal opinion, which is better, silver or gold? I think gold is the ultimate uh, uh, preserver of wealth. It's the ultimate hedge. It's the safest bet. But uh, I believe silver is uh, is priced low, and I believe you should have both. In fact, I would even go far as to say that if you're a gold stacker and and uh, completely are into gold, I think you should diversify and, and get some silver too. Uh, just as I would give the advice for those silver stackers to diversify and get some gold. Yes, indeed. Both those metals are good to have. I think that each each one of us should have a personal gold to silver ratio based off of our budgets and uh, where we are um, financially and where we are at in our silver stacks um, for sure. But very good. All right. Uh, Stephen Heath. No, you're not blocked, my friend. We love you. We would never block Stephen Heath, the one and the only, but we're glad to see you, Stephen Heath. He is the man. Sheffield Steel. Representing Yorkshire Strong. Yorkshire Strong. There he is. Okay. All right. Yeah, where's Mark B? Mark B is here. Okay. All right, let's see. Winning image photography. I hope it is shiny, except it makes it hard to photograph. Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, I guess that's right. Shiny stuff is hard to photograph. Right, very good. Yes, indeed. Billy Bob says, be careful. You might hurt Bix Weir's feelings. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, and again, somebody uh, said that the, this SR Rocco report had a, had a rebuttal to this, and I want to see that. I want to check it out. I'll do a video on it. Fiat Destroyer says, beep, 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 clink, 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 jingle, jingle. Low Fiat Destroyed, truck loaded. There you go, my friend. Jingle, jingle, jangle. All right. And uh, Charles Swoboba. So does that mean the ratio is always going to be this out of whack? Well, we might see, we might have seen a new norm with the ratio of gold to silver. Um, you know, there was a time when I thought, well, the gold to silver ratio is it was going to be... Um, uh, we narrow back down to about the 60 to 50 to 1. Uh, it's looking less likely that's going to happen, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it. I think in some ways it's it's due to come back down, but uh, we'll see how it how it how it happens here. Ken Reddington, if true, then the police the price should drop so we can stack more. But that could then that could be the intent. Get stackers to dump, expecting a major price drop, and the big guys scoop up. Then six months down the road, a correction to the article will come out, and the price will skyrocket. Or with the interest in solar power, they may try and drop the price so they can make more sales affordable. Yeah, you know, they're, you know, I'm not discounting that there could possibly be some motivation behind that. And the guy apparently is a gold uh, person. You know, he's a gold bug as opposed to a silver bug. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. I want to see the the other evidence. You know, the thing is, is it's, it's likely it's unreported as to how much silver 
is out there in these other forms that the article talks about, but doesn't really say how much more is out there. But my guess is there's probably a, a fair amount. Hot Nia says a lot of people already put their back Black Friday purchases in now and drop a week later. I have been saying that prices will drop for months. Sitting on dry powder for a new low. When you have patience, you get rewarded with buying on the dips. That's true. Very true. And there is a, a time to hold. Um, if you can, if you can uh, weather the storm of the prices, then, you know, hey, then buy while it's low. Mr. Octopus says Trump should join us in one of your live streams from time to time. He does. The president does show up. Mr. Octopus, stick around. You stick around long enough, you will see the president pop in, much to Barbara Carbone's chagrin, but he will pop in. And usually the first thing he does is give a thumbs up like he always does. So we appreciate the president popping in. So stay tuned. Hi, uh, 2018 Sal. This is 2019 Mr. Octopus coming from the future. I have to warn you that silver will rise a few bucks in the coming year. So buy everything you can now. Well, Mr. Octopus, we'll take you for your word. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, you could be right. And actually, I think it's going to go up next year, too, at some level. Uh, I don't, maybe $20 next year or some point. We'll see. Mr. Octopus is here. The kids have had a little bottle of NyQuil each. You can trash talk for a good 30 minutes. Go. You know what? I should have, Mr. Octopus, I don't know if you were here when when that uh, scammer, uh, I was trying to get a hold of him and he wouldn't uh, take the call because he was putting his kid to bed. I should have said, just give him some, I should have used your advice, give him some NyQuil. Oh, man. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Barbara Carbone just breaks some news for us tonight here. Shattered our dreams. Barbara Carbone has just alerted us that the, who I was thought all along was President Trump. She says it's not the real President Trump. Do you, I realize that. I didn't. That's mind-blowing, Barbara. I, it's going to take me a little while to process that. I cannot imagine it not being the actual President Trump here. I just, it just, it's, I, I can't wrap my head around it, Barbara. And I refuse to wrap my head around it. I'm going to live in denial. I'm going to live in denial. I think the president was here. I think it was really him. I stand by it. I stand by it. Actually, I'm sitting down. Let me stand up. Now I stand by it. Can I sit back down now? Yes, I can. All right. I have to because this is the best way to do things is sitting down. All right, here we go. Red, Big Red says, does anyone trust a government graph or statement any, anymore? Head your bets, folks, and trust few. Yes, indeed. Well, when all else fails, you stack silver. And that's what my kind of my video was about today. Uh, it's okay to stack while the prices are low. Is uh, is because um, you know it's it's uh, it's never going to go to zero, and it's always in the long run going to preserve and protect your wealth. That's what it's about. Rip Big Bird. I didn't know Big Bird died. Is the guy who played Big Bird die or something? Man, butt plug for president. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't like Buddha Jeds? Donald in New Mexico. BC is here. Hello, Media Man. Tore myself away from all mankind. Good show. Never hoid of it. Keith High is a... Oh, oh, man. Uh, Keith High hopes silver will drop another 50 cents. That one time, uh, Keith High was predicting $12 silver. Hey, you never know. I'm a secret agent man. Secret Asian man. Silver Wolverine, at least Trump doesn't have... Kids rub his hairy legs. That's true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> that is true. He does not have any kids rub his hairy legs. You know what I mean? To watch the hair stand up when he's in the pool, you know? How creepy is that, old Uncle, old creepy Uncle Joe? Uh, Roma Lowell says, when the shirt hit the, when the crap hits the fan economically, silver should be $100,000 per ounce. Wow. 100000 Well, I guess if you, if we have wheelbarrows of money, uh, uh, um, getting, um, picking up bread, I guess that could be the case. A total currency collapse, kind of like, hello, Jimbo, like in, um, Zimbabwe 2008. Juicy Smolier, uh, uh, throughout the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, people were throwing tons of silver into landfill. Well, they still are. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of that stuff just being discarded out there. Yes, I did, Spectacular, you caught that secret Asian man. Ah, oh, yeah, you're welcome. No problem. That mental image. I like to rub my leg hairs. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to rub my leg hairs. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
Uh, I feel it. I've not shaved my legs in quite some time. Padunda Johnson, the breaking news here tonight, Pudinda, is that I've not shaved my legs in quite some time. That's the breaking news, all right? So Pudinda arrived just in the nick of time. Uh, Meet a man, I recommend alternate reality show of Apollo mission where Russians were on the moon first. That would be interesting to see. What network is it on, Meteo Man? I love those alternate reality shows. In fact, I want to see, I don't, I need a, uh, uh, an Amazon Prime login information, hint, hint, hint. If somebody could give me their Amazon Prime login information so I can watch season four of The Man in the High Castle. That would be sweet. All right. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. Let's see here. Um, okay, where are we at? Okay, uh, Mifta alum, I am interested. Is it on sale? No, this is not the, my currency, and uh, this guy that's got it is holding on to it for dear life. He is collecting and hold on to those coincies. Yes, indeed. All right, where are we at? Uh, hello, Wall Banger Productions. He's new here. Hello, Wall Banger. Good to see you. Hmm. I don't have Apple TV either. either. Christy says, can't be right. Silver is mostly consumed while gold get hoarded. Uh, well, but Christy, uh, you got to watch the video because we talk about that. And also watch my video uh, entitled, and I should have put it on the end screen there, but the, the lie of silver supply. All right. Silver Austin 13, I'm waiting. It will continue to fall. Okay. All right. And there you go. There you go, and Anthony G. Anthony G. is a uh, made a uh, post there. The one and the only Anthony G. All right, uh, spectacular. I went to four different coin shops today, and all of them ignored me. I guess they think I'm too young to buy coins. Well, we will never ignore you here, spectacular. You are the man. There's a slurp in your honor. I know I'm not an LCS, but I applaud you. Uh, yes, indeed. WTH Coins. Yes, indeed. Learn about roaches with leg hair. Yes. All right. And Ozzy Alchemist is here. Hello, Ozzy. OBX Silver Surfers here. We've got Cliff 30K here. We've got Barbara Carbones here. The Stacking Nerd. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says Evening Stackers and Terry79. She, the uh, Cyber Curtain Twitcher has purposely excluded Terry79 as a stacker. That's yes, indeed. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yes, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. Speeding 108 is here. All right. Silver below $16. Gold below $1,400. Oh, man. Wow. That's Silver Wolverine's prediction. You heard it right here. That big silver pumpers. Look at that. He's Look at that. He's pumping gold all the way up to $1,400. Pumping silver all the way up to $16. Good grief. What's going on? Colonic Stacker. My guy. Actually, it's CAG right now. CAG. Cagney and Lacey. Yes, indeed. Cagney and Lacey. Keep America great and Lacey. Keep, a, keep America great and knee and Lacey. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I've never seen an LCS open on a Sunday either. Yeah, crazy. Very interesting. Thanks, SM. Well, sure. Thank you, Smith Vess. Appreciate it. And I will do a video on the counter argument if I find it. Medium Man says, it's a good thing, Sal. I've added two. One ounce... Jamin M rounds and three proof sovereigns this uh, this week. All at spot plus two percent. Not cheap and Canadian dollars, but at least not at the previous record highs. Very good. You're doing well, Medio Man. Doing well. Cheryl Lay is here. Hello, Cheryl Lay. Good to see you. All right. Any more colonic babies tonight? I hope not. We might try to call that guy back. If I can find his uh I'm, I'm, I might give it a shot and see. I'm sure he's blocked me by now, but that's worth a shot. Billy Gagne says, it's a great video, Sal. More buying, buying, buying. I wish. Go up a little bit so I can sell and get back into buying again when it comes back down. Flip and then buy the dip. Uh, awesome. It's good. The economy is doing great, and it's because of Trump, and they want to get rid of. That is doing great for this country. But anyway, Sal, I hope you have a Merry Christmas to you and the kitty. Thank you so much. Billy, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Yes, indeed. All right. Stu, 2005. Why is four ounces worth 80,000, yet my four ounce coins are not? Um, because of the historical value of the pieces there. Uh, yes, indeed. That's why. RWG, RWG, we are headed for a Japan-type economy. Now, how many lost decades... Will we live through? Yes. Uh, 
you know, I hope not. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. All right, where are we at? Okay. Chiefly Chieftain is here. All right. All right, Billy says, uh, another awesome video from Salvation Nation. What's up, Sal? You're awesome. Keep your feet on the stars. Reach for the ground. I get so nervous making videos. Man, I don't know why. I shouldn't, but I do. So easy, some people say, especially. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> At least I told you beforehand. Um, you and a lot of people... You and a lot of people, I sound like a moron on my videos. Everybody has like a thing. I don't not good at computers so much. I just got to say what the heck and make it, I guess. Right, Sal? Have a great day with the silver lining. Yes, indeed, Billy. I tell you what. Every time I go back and listen to any of my videos, I hate the way I sound, um, as some people will say. And I'm not the most articulate. I say, um, and you know too much. And, uh. And um and um and uh yeah um 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 Billy, and on the live stream I'm just completely out there. You know what I mean? So don't worry about it. Just make your videos. It's all good in the neighborhood. You're a lot more um cooler than me as far as I'm concerned. So Billy, press on with the videos, my friend. Hey, thanks for saying bless me. Thanks, appreciate that, guys. All right. Pete Hansen, are those enhanced reverse proof eagles really worth as much as they're saying? Yes. And the auctions are to prove it. At least right now they are. Now, will, will they be later down the road? I don't know. All right, we shall see. All right, there we go. CCT uh, confesses. We all hate the way you sound, too. Wipe the sun off the other side of my screen. There we go. Yes, indeed. It was a genuine sneeze. It was from the heart. That sneeze was from the heart. And by by heart, I mean this heart CD, you know, that I've got. This this with Nancy Wilson. It's all over this CD that I'm holding in my hand right now. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, so, Silver Bull 30 says, Hey, guys, just a good buying opportunity. I stack for the distant future. These two, three percent silver drops in 24 hour period. We all know she's volatile. Remember, big drops can mean big gains. Just hang in for the roller coasters. If you're budgeting correctly, precious metals will not fail you. Just remember, if you want quick money, look into stocks. Thanks, Elevate. You make the best of videos, brother. Well, thank you, Silver Bull. And you provided for some sound advice here, exactly. Uh, just be patient, uh, dollar cost average, um, and or if you want to try to venture timing the silver market, you can. But I just buy it and hold the physical and see where she goes. Uh, underdog says should silver should silver be eight forty four per the ounce? Discussing U.S. debt clock. If it was, I would be set. Yes, most of us would be if it was that much. All right. All right, we got Carl with a thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Mr. Bullionaire, good job. Good to see you. Silver Beer Nuts. Just, that report by Jan N. tells us that the silver price should drop quite steadily into January, if not longer. Logic tells us that calculating this 20 times than expected may mean $10 or less. Yes, it could be, potentially. We'll see. There has been a counter article written that I need to find, and I, I will report on it when I find it. Um... And uh, so we'll take a look at that and see what it says there. But uh, yes, indeed. All right. Uh, okay. No Instagram. Thanks for the generous multitude of Eagle Tube. Keep it up, Salivate. Thank you, Silver Bull. Appreciate it. That con that uh, giveaway entry is now closed. And a winner will be announced tomorrow. The live stream uh, featured some sitar-like music from Sal that I had to cut out. All that music is gone. Of course, I went back and listened to it. But... Uh, um, even though it was from our familiar on home music, it was directly piped in, and the copyright people found it, and I got a copyright claim on it, so I had to remove that son of a biscuit. But it's okay. My guitar playing wasn't all that great on it anyway. But anyways, all right, very good. In 77, Canada and Johnson Methane and Malloy tried to introduce one-ounce gold bullion rounds in a proof format. It flopped after two more years. First one had Victoria, then Louis the... Uh, the 4th, 14th. Very cool. All right. Wow. Did you get any of those? All right. Still want to find out about the 77 ounces of gold in Canada. Would love to find an uh, article or some sort of definitive source on that. First, says Cliff on this lucky lottery winner, over 2,500 silver and gold copper coins. Free market. What about tariffs? He's done more meddling in the free markets than the last several presidents combined. Well, um, the thing is, is that... Um, 
you know, as far as trade, trade policy is something that governments do. I mean, yes, you want a free trade, um, and that is the ideal thing that even he wants, but he's going to use the power of the tariffs to make it fair for the United States because it, it, it can't be a one-sided thing where it's free trade or just on one side, uh, Berg Bryce, but thanks for your comment. Um, if, and if you're using tariffs uh, for Trump saying that he's meddled more in the last several presidents combined, that's not right. I mean, there's, there's you know, you look at all the regulations that the past presidents have done, and uh, we've removed many of those. More to come if Trump is reelected. Uh, Ophi Matrix may bury some silver one day for some lucky person to find. Here we go. I think let us all know where it is. Okay, just got all three. They're very good, media man. Mm. All right, I have been instructed to fix the the uh, the giveaway so that only Silver Wolverine wins. Let me see what I can do with that. All right. Oh, you have to ask, and I'll fix it. I will rig the drawing. You know, you just have to ask. That's all there is to it. I, I'm, I will, I'm not beyond it. I, all I got to do is send it to, uh, to Ukraine, and let them handle it, and tell them, you know, hey, put in a good word for uh, Silver Wolverine for me, and uh, maybe we can get, uh, get that to happen there. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Mr. Octopus says, facts and statistics, 76.6% of all lottery winners have a huge gap between their front teeth. Wow. I did not know that. All right. Fiat Destroyer says, amazing how treasure hordes keep showing up. It really is. And you know what? Really, Fiat, probably uh, they haven't really um, increased any more than usual during time. It's just that with the media and the news the way it is today, instant information comes to us very quickly. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Juicy small yay. Silver needed in space technology. Price will go through the roof in the stratosphere. There you go. All right. Thanks, Juicy. Very good. Appreciate you being here. Yes, and Terry says that I can be bought. Yes, indeed. All right. Ah, yes, I'm glad the audio isn't going to leave me out. This, this new way, I'm using OBS now, so I think it's better this time, which is a good thing. I don't think I'm done with that other program. All right. The problem is I can't have guests here. I've got to, I've got to do the uh, the old um, snitcheroo with the unit, what the unit does there. JRW3 says gold coins from India in 1885 would have been a Victorian Moors or the Calcutta Mint. Ah, yes. Very true. Thanks, JRW3. Silver Bowl, wowzer. An inspiring scene to salivate, and this is six years old. This is just awesome, man. Well, thank you, Silver Bull. Stay tuned. There's going to be something coming, coming soon. How much for you? Oh, man. I, well, for you, it would be very low. If, as long as I can get a hug. One hug. One hug. That'll be the cost. Uh, let's see here. Yes, old BS. I'm full of it. That's right. Uh, is an OBS. That's right. I'm an OBS. Massive thumbs down from Alan Gold. Look at that. And he got two thumbs up on that, you crack whore. I really do think he's on some sort of strange substance, Alan Gold is. Uh, Robin Stabile. Check this out. All of a sudden, my bank ATM are shut down. In addition to that, my bank is running a skeleton crew. How did, where did this come Where did this come from? That is crazy. I don't know, Robin. That is, that is actually scary. All the more reason why to stack precious metals. All right. Hope they get that worked out. Let's pause and take a look at the markets and see what the markets are doing, folks. Ah, look at that. They're all down. <clears throat> uh, gold is down 80 cents, uh, 14.59 now. Uh, Silver's down 2 cents, 16.65. Platinum's down $2.898. And palladium is down $2. Clips, as my two Sullivan Metal MK rounds got delivered yesterday, but I'm not home to inbox them. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I'm glad they were delivered. I, I hope you um, enjoy them, Cliff. Thank you so much for ordering those. Very cool. All right. Yes, indeed. Ah, let's see here. But I hope you can get them, get home soon so you can see them. Uh, no security guard. Man. Overly bullish on silver. That's right, exactly. My bank is closed on Sunday. Mine is too. Mine is too. All right, let's get back here to these comments. William Latuni says, but 
They did not work for it like the rest. Plus, you were 100% sure they didn't rob someone to attain it. I trust no one, Sal. They are not like us brothers. Yes. Oh, man. I don't know. We shall see. I don't know how they came to be. Apparently, he found them, but... Suck my lost pennies, Sal. Oh, man. Yes. Thank you for the long, awkward hug. Hey, yes, no problem. No problem. All right, so... So, uh... So, Silver Steeler did give you that long, awkward hug for me. Very good. Thank you. All right. Yes. What a moment that must have been. He's like, okay, what's going on, hubby? He said, that's from Sal. Yeah, that's right. Ah. Where are we at? Okay. Here we go. We got another comment up here of a conversation that erupted from Mark B., I'm sure he kept a good portion for safekeeping. Lucky man indeed. Ah, yes, I hope so. I hope so. Look at there. I'll be back, says Ace Almonte. I have to dig out some alfalfa for my old lady's house. Ooh, man, save some for us, man. Alfalfa. I wonder what that tastes like in the coffee. Mmm. Ah, yes, indeed. Silver Wolverine, I found a $50 instant lottery ticket once. Dude, that's awesome. That's a well over two ounces of silver. That's two ounces of premium silver. That's what that is. Nice score, Silver Wolverine. All right. Precious Metals Update Rules. Yes, he does. Good guy. Very good guy. Thanks, Step Stacker. Another great channel. All right. Let's see here. Um, Sarah Howard says he had better be glad he isn't in England. Yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> Pudenda Johnson, I'm starting to think Alan might be queer. <laughs> I think so too. Oh my gosh, something is is off with Alan. There's something strange. In there. I think there might be a chromosomal uh, um, miscarriage of justice in his head. Uh, back to the front we go now. You will comment when I say you must comment. Sarah Howard says in Tennessee... It is illegal to metal detect and dig up any artifact over 100 years old. Whoa. Wow, I did not know that. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, let's see here. Imagine trying to um, um, enforce that law. Karis, Arg, they better reward him at least 20% of the value. I agree. Yes. At least. At the very least. Okay. Two silver quarters and my local coin counter machine. Nice job, AG47 server. That is a great score. Wow. All right. And we've got uh, low blood pressure says. Um, real money uh, until government rupee destroyed it. Yes, indeed. And I forgot to like this guy. Townie was asking when the... The giveaway when the thing is for the tubes is happening tomorrow. Stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. They'll keep impeaching them if they if they win. Oh yeah. Well, make no mistake. Trump until the day he dies, they are going to pound him. Um, literally, they're just going to be negative press about Trump until the day he dies. Unfortunately. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Bob. Bobson, you're right, Sal. Finders keepers. That's right. All right. B Demon says nothing like social unrest to get people to bury their treasure. Nice find. He got his 15 minutes of fame. That he did. Very true. Thanks, Bead. Always appreciate you stopping by. Yes, indeed. All right. Mm. Where are we at? Okay. Uh, Terry, hey Sal, I thank you and Precious Metals updates for sharing. Have a nice day. Well, thank you so much, Terry. I wish I would have saw on this yesterday so that it could have been applicable for that very day, but we're seeing it now, and I hope that she's still wishing me a nice day today, even though it's almost over. All right, let's see here. Tony Ricci, what happened to Monkey Spaz Live, Sal? I don't know. Is he not uh, broadcasting live anymore? Maybe after YouTube took away um, uh, the Hangouts, maybe he hasn't uh, discovered OBS or something like that. I'm not sure, but I don't see him around much anymore around here. So uh, let's see here. Hello, Coins A to Z. Good to see you. 
Ozzy Alchemist is still here. Amazing find for sure. Keep stacking, Mountain Wolf. Let's pause and see how many people are here. We've got 81 watching. Very cool. Three thumbs down. I'm butt hurt over that. Yes, indeed. And we've got 35 thumbs up. Let's see if we can get those three people. Are they still here? Maybe we can get them to change their vote. Would be nice. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I think Adam Schiff moans the word impeachment during sex. I think so, too, Speeding 108. I think so, too. They've been uh, salivating about impeachment since he was elected before he was even president. They were been kind of scheming, trying to find ways to make it happen. All they needed is a majority in the House, and it's going to be happening probably uh, this week. Impeachment will go through. Chris uh, Gunderson, keep stacking. Yes, indeed. That is the message here. Uh, Massachusetts Pepper says, yes, sir, lucky man indeed. How Now, hopefully, the government will give him a good reward for handing it over in such a prompt manner. Thanks for sharing, brother. We just, just ordered two of the rounds from MK Bars. Nice. Well, thank you so much, uh, Massachusetts Prepper. Appreciate that, my friend. And uh, check out Massachusetts Prepper's channel. Uh, good guy. He uh, is in the bees now, really, seriously. He's in the bees, doing really good. Mr. Personality is here. Hola, como estas? Vamos a la estación de ferrocarril con la café. Yes, indeed. Salivate about impeachment. That's right, down on New Mexico. That's SAI, right? That'll be the new acronym. DT has been cheating since 2016. Oh, man. No. Actually, there's been a lot of cheating on... Uh, with the with the with the political establishment in both parties really, and Trump is calling them out on it. That's why that's the swamp is all about cheating, and taking advantage of of us, the normal people out there. And he's exposing it. All right, let's see here. Jonathan Reese of their going to take it, uh, pay in the full amount of the coins and let them keep one of each coin. That's only fair. I think that's at least they could do. All right. Okay. Uh, Donald New Mexico says, uh, Hi, Sal. I knew you got your news from Russia. RT and Fox News are fake news. Sadly, the Russian agents are being advanced by unwitting co-conspirators and half-wit knowing conspirators. Well, uh, you know what? I I trust RT News more than CNN, PMSNBC, and CBS and ABC, the Washington Compost, and the New York Slimes. Yes, believe it or not, and I'm with you on RT, and I'm also with you that Fox News is not, um, uh, it's not, um, ba it's not, well, they're, yeah, they're not balanced, but they're fair. I will give them that. And they're more balanced than the other media out there, but RT is more real than, than CNN and, and, uh, the rest of it. Anyways, but that's just, and that's another story. Captain Litecoin says, Woohoo! Buy, buy, buy as much as you can afford with the fiat paper. And uh, I've got a pirate small treasure chest now and just bought more gold yesterday. Buy, 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 people. This is great. Hey, yes, there we go. Buy it up. Very good. All right. Hey, Silver Monkey Face is here and he loves 999. Yes, very good. All right, very good. I hope Trump will be reelected. I'm to the chagrin of some people in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. But anyways, too much Kool-Aid, Sal. Yes, indeed. All right. Ah, yeah. Tomoko's Enterprise says, How neat when Lady Luck shows up. Uh, keep paying her some respect. That's right. Exactly right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Moving on up the fast lane. Uh, Detroit Love for You says, if you trust the USGS, you trust your government to provide you accurate data, you must have a level of tolerance way beyond uh, mine for asinine absurdity. The mining industry ratio for uh, silver to gold is 8 to 1. That would make silver valued at $180 per ounce. Well, there's where you lost me. Uh, because the thing is that uh, the the mining the mining ratio for gold to silver really is about between fifteen and nine to one, uh, but even if we use your number eight to one, that ratio is with 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 regards to rarity between the two metals, which has absolutely nothing to do with price. I'll give you for instance, I have a salivate metal uh, one ounce round uh, that uh, the mintage on it was like 
I don't know, 700 or something like that. That's a pretty low mintage, right? Guess what? You can buy those things from not a whole lot over spot, whereas the Enhanced Uncirculated American Silver Eagle, Enhanced Proof American Silver Eagle has a 30,000 mintage, and you can get those things, how much? For uh, $15 worth of 15, 16, well, 17 and change dollars worth of silver. A thousand bucks for one of those. And it's much more pop. There's many more of those than the Salivate Metal one ounce round. So the rarity makes no difference. There's a lot more to it. Watch the video again, Detroit. Love for you. I appreciate your comment, but you're missing. There's a huge disconnect between, uh, you know, government data and uh, mining data, which, by the way, the USGS will readily admit that the gold, the, the mining uh, ratio between gold and silver is around 15 to 9 to 1. It's not, it's really not exact, um, but, or even close to that 8 to 1. But uh, the other data that they provide, yeah, there's some things we can question, we can not believe anything the government tells us, or we can uh, choose to believe stuff that's uh, not swayed by politics. And the USGS data is probably less likely to be swayed by politics than other forms of data out there. Well, for instance, I mean, shoot, look at the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. That should be completely political. But both sides use those numbers. Um, and that's why I look at the different numbers. I look at all the different aspects from U3 to U6, um, um, which is what the Bureau of Labor Statistics point out. So that's kind of where you have to kind of take... Uh, you know, where the data comes from. Uh, but anyways, I hope that made sense. And I hope you listen to this response. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's right. And as coins A to C, it's all about demand, not rarity. But in some cases, even more than demand can have a way on price. Um, although demand is the is the biggest factor for sure on, on, on price. Yeah. Uh, but there are other factors that can come into play too especially with regards to gold and silver. Hi, Steve. The lottery is attacks on people who are bad at math. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Very true. Southern Silver Stacker and Gold Hoarder says, I'm a new sub and long-time collector and stacker. I enjoy your videos and I've decided to kick off my channel. Well, Southern Sta Silver Stacker, you need to check out... Um, um, uh, let me... I'm going to post my, this link... Um, on let's see here uh i hate it when people do this they their very first post on my channel is to promote their channel um and you know, though they're new to the community that's great but first watch this of course i hate it when my screen is watch this video and pay special attention to point number five. Let's see if it'll actually type it. I've already typed it, but will it show up? Let's find out together. Yes, it showed up. Why this thing is slow? All right. Okay, of course, I'm not going to even go there until he does it. I'm, if this guy keeps coming around here, we'll, we'll see about subscribing to him. But uh, this is not the way to grow your channel, folks, just so you know. Most of you guys here uh, don't do that. And I'm all about promoting other people's channels and the like, but uh, not in this way. This is considered uh, crass and then some. All right, uh, Keith High says... There is more silver than you would think. That's why I buy on the cheap side. Right, good point, Keith. Yeah, you've got sound reasoning there. All right, let's see here. All right. Oh, man. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Barbara uh, has, needs a drink and a shower. I've got to wash all this DT off me. You know what? Oh, man. You know what, Barbara? You're, 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 um, I'm a hideous Maximus, says Alan Gold. Um, your your post reminds me. Your comment there reminds me of DDT. Remember DDT? They used to do, uh, put DDT on people, and you say DT. You're kind of um, that the chemical they use DDT, and then now they stopped because they found that it was dangerous. All right, very good. 
Oh, let's see here. Okay, uh, Chicken Man Farmer says, The lower the price, the better. Until this time, they're ready to stack gold. Since I don't have much silver, let's stay low until we move higher. There you go, Chicken Man. Yep, there you go. I agree with him. Mr. Octopus, hey, you all can come to my channel if only I had one. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Well, the thing, and here's the thing. Like, you know, here's Mr. O Mr. Octopus is actually a great example of somebody. If Mr. Octopus created a channel tomorrow and he came on the chat and said hey uh you know check out my channel i just started it i would say heck yeah heck to the yeah because mr octopus has been coming around here he's been a, a, very active on my channel uh, for for the longest time so we would fully support mr octopus it's about perspective you know what i mean this guy i've never seen this guy before if he's common and maybe one other time i don't know i've never um, um well yeah he's a new sub and uh but anyways but yeah there's a difference you see what i'm saying that's just a huge pet peeve with me uh let's see here funk tab for says people are just gullible he may get one ten thousandths of his value if he if his luck continues yeah it's no wonder why people take chances on on not uh um on keeping the stuff and not reporting it uh <laughs> DDT was a wrestling move, says Silver Bridge. Says, yeah, that's right. Yes, I think it is an insecticide. Yeah, old distant, aggress distant aggressor has some old DDT-based insecticides. First again, I must be awesome. Cliff, you are awesome. Yes, indeed, you are. I'm on the edge of a cliff waiting to respond to your comment here. Why? WTF? China is buying gold from the U.S. I know, Calvin Cooper. It's crazy. Acting like a million dollar trooper. Trying hard to act like Calvin Cooper. Doop duper. Remember that song? Putting on the Ritz. Press the number one if you've heard that song, even though I sucked at singing it. Let us not forget today is Pearl Harbor Day. Yes, very true. And I should have said something about that. December 7th, a day that will live in infamy. You're right. JRW3, thank you, sir. All right. Boy, I must have sung that song terribly. Nobody remembers that song. Dang. Jay Silver Bravo, what does China know? And who is your daddy? And what does he do? Oh, my gosh, man. My daddy is a human being. Yes, indeed. All right, hey. Some people know the song. Thank you. Or you're just um, either that or you're just um, patronizing me, one or the other, or both. Sal, what will your next silver purchase be? Please describe. I'm going to get some 2020s junk stuff. And I'm going to get that new um, uh, Icons of Route 66, New Mexican um, T-Rex thing. I think that's going to be... But see, I'm kind of a collector. One of my goals, though, is to buy a tube of Silver Eagles from 2020. Yes, if I was Reverend Tacos, then you would automatically be able to recognize these songs instantaneously. You know what I mean? instantaneously okay Jez, uh, Jezebin 7 says they might be buying gold for us to pay off some of their debt however you don't think gold is something that should be sold yes I hold, hold on to gold I hold my gold that's right indeed silver wolverine and the ta add tariffs to everything thank you for the video Sal thank you so much silver wolverine alright I got a question I want to test the fortitude well, I want to test the humanity of Alan Gold here, just to, for a moment, guys, okay? All right, Alan Gold. Uh, uh, now, to clear your mind, Alan Gold. Clear your mind. Here we go. Here we go, Alan Gold. Let's say, let's say that I had the chance to fly to your location there in Cali, all right? And I needed a place to stay. And, uh, and um, would you welcome me into your home with your family and, and uh, for dinner and and a, and a sleepover for just a night since i'm in town i just ask asking i just want to see if this would happen you if this would occur if maybe by some chance alan gold would welcome me with a warm heart into his home let's see native stacker says that's impossible let's find out i couldn't be surprised let's see what the answer is i'm very curious Eric Schneider says, perhaps the world leaders agreed and won an equal amount of gold when the world economy resets. Ooh, yeah, maybe so. You never know. 
That's an oxymoron. Yes, I know. I'm an oxy. I am a moron. Oxygen. I'm an. I'm an oxy. I'm a moron who needs oxygen. That's right. Don't do it, Alan. Sal wants to go to North Korea. <laughs> That's right, Donald. Oh, man. That's a good one, Donald. Oh my gosh, you just. <laughs> Oh, Donald for the win. That was the winning comment of the day. Sal and Alan having a pajama party. There you go, Barbara. Oh, silence. They were, hey, Lady Bullion, everybody. Lady Bullion had a live stream earlier, and it was awesome. She gave away some of her very cool um, uh, uh, channel rounds that are uh, challenge coins that she has had uh, produced uh, and had a good crowd in there. In fact, let's see. Uh, she's got. I think she probably had me beat. Uh, almost. Uh, she had uh, almost 56 or some people when I was in there. Where's Sal going with this line of questioning? Okay, let's see here. I would, Sal, done it before for other YouTubers. That's right. You had pops there, uh, CCT. So that's awesome. I would love to go to the old country and visit Cyber Curtain Twitcher. That would be a dream. That would be awesome. Alan Gold says, yes, I would burn it and collect the insurance on the residents in you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess I should probably stay clear from the Allen Gold residence. <laughs> Collect the insurance. Oh, man. And then he'd really be stacking uh, um, door stops for sure. Mm. He'd welcome me with a warm... <coughs> says Pudenda Johnson. That's right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Um... Oh, I share your channel and I stack silver. I have naked silver. Hey, very good, Wallbringer. Naked silver is really cool too because you can touch it. You can you can caress the naked silver. Uh, though, do you have a new video, Cybercurrent Treacher? I need to check it out. Terry says there is. But anyway, give Lady Bullion a subscription if you haven't already. She's got a, a fast growing channel, and uh, she, uh, her and her husband are there. Good good people. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Hello, Dave uh, Panorama Game. Good to see you. I think he's new here. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, let's see here. It's called The Demo Rats Get Slammed a Lot, says Robin Stabile. Cool. All right. What does naked silver mean? It means it's, doesn't, it's not in a capsule. It's not in a flip. It just You just touch it. You just, you know what I mean? It's, just, it's exposed to the air and everything. All right. Let's get back up here to these comments. We've got... Uh, American Super Tramp. Trump said China is building a beautiful wall of gold. Ooh, wow. I didn't know he said that. That's interesting. Um, I am going to actually prepare. Let's see. For, I'm going to see if by any odd chance. Nope. Cannot do it. Not going to be able to make the call there. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can do it. Uh, in this other avenue here. Where is my good thing here? I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if by some miracle, by some strange and obscene miracle, that we can somehow, in some way, um, get that dude to answer his phone with the baby. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to try this out. And I'm going to see if by some chance he will answer. I'm not making any promises. I'm not even, I shouldn't have even said I'm going to make the call because, you know, it's a, I don't know if this is going to work here, but we'll try it. What is his name? John Martin. That's if he's put the baby to bed yet. Let's see here. We'll find out. Come on, John. Beep. Calling from an even different number, which means that... Uh, oh, so Your I'm call has been forwarded to oh. an automated voice messaging oh. system. 516-305-1198 is not available. We might try to call him later. We might try to do it. We might see what happens when we... All right. The band was called Taco, 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 Taco Band. All right. 
Silver Honda just posted a new video, by the way. Check it out. Silver Honda, who, who in that video, by the way, he just assumes that everybody knows what he drives. But you got to see it. You got to see it anyway. You got to see it. Bye, Asol. Good to see you. All right, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? Uh, back down to the comments here. Uh, Manir gives us a like. Thank you, Manir. I want to get through these to these comments relatively a little bit on a faster pace here. America traded gold for toys. Yes, that's exactly right. That's what it boils down to, Terry. Mr. Monkey Face gives us bananas. Thanks, Silver Monkey Face. The man. All right. Very good. Good night, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Appreciate you. Have a good time, my friend. Have a good sleep. The crazy glue isn't holding his eyes open. All right. Nearly midnight. All right. Very good. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave, uh, Panorama Game. Thank you so much. Very good. All right, Donald, New Mexico. Hey, Sal, I'm not concerned about China buying gold from the U.S. as much as them buying uh, so much U.S. debt. Yes, uh, that's true. That's bad, too. All right. Very good. All right, let's see here. Okay, uh, Cloxy. Imagine China boycotts USA, and they have all the reason for such. The rest of the world become a great market channel. Prices in the U.S. would rise. Their stolen wealth. Would money printing somewhat distributed over in entrepreneurial uh, countries? All right. I think in some ways, though, we have the upper hand here, and they need us more than we need them. August Cancel says, don't see shoes, clothing on that list. Those numbers should be substantial as well, I would think. Yeah, you would think, but you, know, you think we're talking about billions of dollars there. So even if you had... You know, eight hundred, eight to nine hundred million dollars. That's a lot of clothes. You know what I mean? Cloxy says the car export balance would flip within a few years. China's starting to make cars that work and work really well. Huh? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. China's probably using some proxy hedge funds to take from COMEX as much as they can without causing war. But UK will export through LBMA. Switzerland did a lot of refining for China. They're like. Four nines, one on kilogram bars. That's 32.1 ounce only. Convenient, like money, each bar worth an average new car. Yeah, good point. Yes, that's right. They sure are. All right, let's slurp some more. Mm. All right. Silver Honda, son of a mudless goat. That's one lucky dude. That it is. And the car, the Honda is blue. Uh, Rich Howell says, interesting, bro. You heard of Karen Hughes? She reckons there is one milliton of gold. I have heard the name uh, with some sort of wild claim, I think, associated with her. But I don't really know much about her. But thanks, Rich. All right, so move on up. Carl, China will eventually rule the world. If we're not careful. They are definitely trying to rule the southeast uh, China Sea and out into the Pacific Selling gold to China, says King Pen. Yes, selling the gold to China. Yes, that's what's going on. Sure is. Okay. All right. Uh, Chuck and Plata says, So any idea where the U.S. has all this gold stashed away or actually is U.S. selling gold that belongs to some other country? No worries. We'll pay you back later, much later. Uh, let's see. Well, my guess is probably the New York Fed is probably where it is to where it can be shipped out. Uh, probably not in the interior of the country, Fort Knox. Gene says, I'm beginning to wonder if I made a mistake buying in silver bullion. No, you did not. It should be treated as a hobby rather than investment. Actually, it should be treated as a hedge and a hobby if you're buying collector pieces. There's many ways to lose money doing this. Seems everyone can get it under spot except for the main consumer, stackers. That does the buying. This topic should be debated extensively before a person sinks thousands in silver. So far, I see there's a loss. In other words, when you buy bullion, some will evaporate before your eyes in the premiums. Yeah, and that's just it. You have to take premiums into account, um, but don't think of it as an investment, and don't just think of it as a hobby either. 
um, because it does preserve your wealth in the long run. It's a long-term game, all right? Alan Gold says, liar, liar, liar. Uh, I'm checking my pants if they're on fire. Van Wood, South China Sea is going to turn into a major conflict more than it is in the future, and we're supposed to see it in World War III. Well, they're building up islands, and they're building up islands presumably to potentially put military bases on, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I worry about that too, Van Wood. I worry about that too. King Pan, I guess you all didn't hear that China has owned USA AK Turtle Island since 2008. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's a, it's crazy. It's really a scary. Did Lars personally send you the copyright notice about your on hold sitar music? Yes, indeed. He sent it over to me. He says, he said, hello, Napster. I mean, Salivate Metal. 143 Druid, what a lucky idiot. I shall hand over my metal detecting fines to myself, maybe the LCS or eBay. I have found items worth more than $900. Cool. All right. Nice. Good job, 143 Druid. Mm. Uh, U.S. needs to hold our gold. Yes. And we should add to our coffers, I believe, too. Silver Honda, I believe that. 143 Druids, I'll thank your full gold, stupid Americans. Uh, crop losses spring of 2019 more significant than tariff. China tries to avoid U.S. GMO soy, which is poison. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Frisky uh, Ding Bra says, Hey, Salivate, what's your opinion on buying bullion from an out-of-state brick-and-mortar gold dealer? He says I need to mail him a check for deposit before he orders Credit Suisse bars. He's rated A plus and a BBB by doing this, picking up the gold from him versus buying from Jam Boy and have about eight hundred dollars in sales tax. Would you trust this type of transaction? Um, I would be very cautious to um. <coughs> that was it with that warning sneeze. Um, and uh, I would uh, be very careful about. I would instead, unless you're if you happen to pay. Save eight hundred dollars in sales tax. Um, heck, I would probably, if uh, depending on how far away it is, I would consider driving to it. Um, you know, if you're going to save eight hundred dollars in sales tax and spend that much money, you're you would be better off just driving there. Um, seriously, it'll probably cost you less than eight hundred dollars or whatever, depending on how far away it is. But the Better Business Bureau rating. Take that for a grain of salt. Those things are often, those uh, those ratings are often um, overemphasized, or people pay to have good ratings um, and get the bad ones removed. Uh, so, um, yeah, thanks, thanks, Donald. Appreciate it. Here's the tissue. Thanks, Barbara. Something's in the air tonight. I can feel it sneezing in the air tonight. Hold on, slurp on. We have finished our coffee. I'm going to fill it with what's known as liquid water. Here we go. Ah, there's water. Here we go. God bless you, man. God have mercy on your soul. Yes, indeed. I need all the mercy I can get for sure. Uh, so, Frisky, I hope that helps you. Um, and if you... If it's like like two states away or something like that, where it's going to be, you know, it's going to cost you, you know, an overnight stay in a hotel to go there. What I would do is I would uh, call around to some local coin shops closer to you within a 50 mile radius, within a 100 mile radius. More likely there's something like that out there where you're going to have a really good uh, deal. Because if you're spending if you're spending that much money in taxes, uh, you are going to be able to. Uh, um, find something in some of these states where if you spend over $1,000, you're going to save in taxes. Big Rob in New Zealand says, I think you just got to keep the faith and keep buying every month, even if it's only a small amount, while you can. That's exactly right. Blue collar mark. China has way more gold than that. China just might have more gold than the U.S. Some people speculate. It's, it's, it's an unknown exactly how much gold China has. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. And they may have less gold than what's reported, too. That's water I'm slurping there. J. Uh, L. Jessel, the U.S. imports silver, so China would not buy from the U.S. They buy from major producers like Mexico and Chile and Peru. That makes sense. 
Thank you. And I kind of speculated that at the end of the video there. Another nation wants to go back. Kevin W., I've been waiting for Canada to start buying. That would send an interesting message, especially after you have sold it all. That's true. It sure would. That would be an interesting message. Because they sold it for American dollars, essentially. Richard Simpson says, hope we are sending some them tungs and pandas, not the real stuff. Yes, indeed, Richard, I agree. They need to crack down on their, um, on their stuff. Hey, Silver Chimp is here. So we have Silver Monkey Face here and Silver Chimp. Good to see you guys. All right, Silver Chimp, welcome, my friend, to a live stream. Uh, yes, indeed, I hope you're doing well. He had come back. He had a comeback video for a while. Uh, they haven't seen anything a whole lot since, but uh, he's got a great sense of humor. Silver Chimp does. So give him a subscription if you get a chance. Good guy. All right. Very good. And the Yuha uh, says, he who owns the gold owns the power. That's right. It is empowering. I think it really is to have some gold and keeping it safe. All right. Very good. All right. All right. If DT slurped, I may like him. I'll see what I can do. I will see what I can do. I'll give him a, I will call the White House switchboard and see if we can make that happen. I'll have him record a special message so that, that we can have at least one more vote in Long Island for the Donald in 2020. And that's, he'll, he'll, I'll have him say, well, Sal told me to do it for you, Barbara. And we might just tip the scale, you know. We might be able to make New York red again. That's right. Very good. Highly unlikely. But hey, you can one can dream, right? Stephen Mazur says, when the U.S. says it's a selling gold to China, who's gold and who profits and who pockets the cash? Pretty certain it is not the benefit of the U.S. citizen. Um, yes. Very true. Very true. Galena. China never sells its gold. Never. It's also... It's also like also India. That's right. Well, that's true. Marshall Health says, what about gold pandas? That's true. In that case, they do sell it. Dream on. All right. Dream on. Like Aerosmith says, dream on. Dream on. Silver Britches says, first of all, congrats on 25K. Unbelievable. And second, is there anything left in Fort Knox? Well, thanks, Silver Britches. I appreciate that. And uh, Fort Knox, I believe, should be audited. We need to have a transparent audit of the gold in Fort Knox. We can't just have people's words for it. I believe it's there. Make no mistake. However, I believe to set people's mind at ease. We need an audit. Why they won't do it, I think I have an idea why. More on that later. Coins A to Z. The Chinese are way smarter than many of our own leaders. Um, yeah, they, they, they have been. They've outsmarted us for quite some time. Uh, the Chinese, uh, the China's government will be our boss. All right. Well, uh, if we're, if we're not careful, it very well could be. We don't want that. Hello, Jeff Salcero. Good to see you. Sal for Press 2020. I feel like might his only writing. Oh, man. Well, thanks, Steve. I appreciate that. But don't write me in there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Dr. Bill. I'm glad I know that if I find a jar of old rare coins, I can call the IRS and get a hundred dollars finder's fee while they split the rest with their crooked buddies on Wall Street. There you go. Oh my goodness. Kuna Coin says, "We whole will win. We we that whole will win." That's it. Sal, keep stacking. That's what sums it up. That sums it up. I agree. As we move on up through here, and his little stack with the auto four knocks. They will probably have AOC do the county. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, Mim J says, why not compete with them in five grand markets and beat them at their own game? All right. 5G. Oh, yeah. You're talking about not five grand. You're talking about 5G markets. Yeah. Because they're starting to move in that direction. Marshall Health says, interested to hear. Thanks for the upload. Stack it high and wide. There you go. And so that's how we do it. That's how we do it. <clears throat> Let's see here. SCTP, see, $200, 200 a year in America won't have any in four years. If, they're, if that even their goal were, could be easy for Germany or anyone else's. All right. Uh... 
Check out my master videos. Watch it next week. Truly manipulated. We'll see what it does next week. Gold and silver. Will they drop next week? We'll see. Well, they're, they're dropping now. But they're going to, I think they'll go down. And, and Well, you know what? They're up now. Gold is up 30 cents now, folks. Over 1460 now. Silver's up a penny. Actually, it's a cent here in America. We don't call them pennies. Uh, silver Chimp. Yes, I do have email. Uh, SalivateMetal at gmail.com, sir. Yes, indeed. Uh, platinum is down and palladium is down. That's your market uh, update for a moment. We'll come back to that momentarily and see what's going on. Why are they going up? Just a little bit here and there, here and there. All right, very good. Uh, the bridges in Brooklyn that could be sold today. Pay no attention to what's really going on. And remember, kids, it's not QE. Yes, indeed. Yes. Oh, man. That's right. They're saying that this, uh, these repurchase agreements that are still going on, by the way. Yeah, it is a little bit concerning. Big Red says, summary, they send us crap. We send them good and real goods. Oh, then they take all the gold and silver while they stack their billions of tons of gold. Hmm. Why do they want so much metal? They will be the new currency soon. Ah. We shall see. Jim Farrell says, Hopefully this coin will find offset the tax it took from the lottery winnings. People will never learn to keep their mouth shut. Yes. Big lessons to be learned there for sure. Oh, my comment is on there. Hey, all right, very good, Justin. Congratulations. You got it in. You got it in. Because that is now closed. And the drawing will be Announce tomorrow. Debbie from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for this tip. I have now I have now just listened to. I have visited the Atmex Instagram site and entered. I see they also advertise the New Mexico Route 66 rounds. I ordered 10 on Cyber Monday. Thanks to UPSU. I got them today. Nice. Multiples of 10 will come in a sealed roll, but they failed to include that, so I'm keeping them in the plastic baggies and putting them in a jar for now. Maybe the sealed roll... Uh, will come separately. The rounds are made of them to help with the sunshine mint. That's right. And uh, I need to do a video on those. Those are cool. Yes, very cool. And the, it is New Mexico that they're coming in. So that's awesome, Debbie. Very cool. Congratulations. Yes, the new Route 66 shield rounds. All right. Robert uh, Sovich says, I have only one order late from Amex today's. They're reliable. It's holidays. I prefer 2020 red back Australian spider. Yes, indeed. That's a cool coin, too. Steve Brooks says, if Trump could uh, just sever the obvious love affair with Putin, I'd feel better about another term. Well, he doesn't really have a love affair with Putin. That's made up conspiracy by the media. In fact, he's done more. Uh, his actions as president has done more to piss off Putin than in Putin than anything else. Uh, but you know, but it's crazy, crazy. Don't believe what the media tells you. Drain the swamp. Just my luck, I would find it, and Alan Gold would rip me off. Man, Alan Gold, come on, man. David uh, Bola, just yesterday I stocked up on almost 200 ounces. Dude, that's a great score. Wow. That's a big buy of silver right there. Wow. All right. The PROC are trading their worthless U.S. dollars for real money gold. Yeah, People's Republic of China, lucky winner says. That's right. They sure are. They're being wise there. Uh, look up drinkable book. Another useful, very useful way of silver. Drinkable book. Here's a drinkable water. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. DW, if the U.S. is selling gold to China, why did the supply drop on our 8,234 tons? So where's gold coming from? U.S. miners? Uh, no, the supply, it's 81,000 uh, tons, I think. Not 82,000. It's been steady. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed at all. Edward Leahy, love those 2013 enhanced BUs. So glad you revisited this coin. Thank you, yes. Yeah, I think they're cool. Yes, indeed. Very good. All right. And we've got more up here. Barbara Carbone says, Hey, Sal, China plans on a nice long trade war with the U.S. With all the instability here, they're counting on an increase in gold prices, so they threaten to cease purchasing our agricultural products. 
and who has whom by the balls. Well, it gets to be determined, I guess. They drive a hard bargain, for sure. And uh, like, like Donald New Mexico says, I won't believe it till I actually see it. You know what I mean? And so we'll see what happens there. And uh, yes, indeed. But I do think we have the upper hand. Uh, Dr. Bill says, promoting the gay gender agenda, I'm selling my 69,000 ounces of silver. Wow, <laughs> all right. Okay, he also says there's a day when it, when it was a one-to-one -one ratio. One South American country of silver was worth more. Silver should be $200 an ounce for screwing us over. I have an obsession with silver. If I don't stop, I'll be living in a cardboard box made of silver. Oh, man. Well, you know, and the thing is, is that be careful just what information, because we want to hear what we want to hear. And uh, sometimes what we want to hear is not the truth or an exaggeration of the truth. And so don't don't put too much faith in it or obsess with it too much. Silver sells itself. Accumulate it for what it is and what it has been throughout history. All right, C-Rod is here. Hello, C-Rod. Good C-Rod. Good to see you, my friend. Cheers to you. Good to see all you guys. Yes, indeed. Uh, we got Doctor Who. Yeah, where's Buckethead? We haven't seen uh, Stormtrooper, Second Stormtrooper. All right, we have no hands, Sal. One and two hands in the cookie jar. They're in the cookie jar. All right. And Silver Hunt is here still. Very cool. Some random person from Canada says a different method is used right now. How to enable and allow replies on YouTube. Yeah, this video is probably outdated. But I was able to respond to your comment. So whatever you have is working there. Sterling Cannabis says, as you said, the chart is a year old. They are buying a lot more agricultural products and fuel these days. Very good. All right. All right, where are we at on viewers? We've got 65 watching, 61 thumbs up, four thumbs down. No one has removed their thumbs down. All right, yet. Silver Backstacker, all volunteered to demonstrate why allowing others to hold your gold can be risky. Step one in the lesson, send me your gold. There you go, Silver Backstacker. Great demonstration, great demonstration. Yes, indeed. All right, there we go. Oh, funny colors. Thank you so much. Everybody give me a thumbs up to remove those thumbs down. I demand it. I demand those thumbs up down to be removed. Those people are already gone probably. But thank you, guys. All right. All right. And KJM says, I find it sickening and a disgrace that America's gold is being sold to China. Who are the jackasses making these decisions? I, I agree. I don't think we should be selling gold to, to China or really to anybody. Mike Wilson says, gold and silver are going to keep going down while bonds and equity markets keep going up. I've been saying it for months. We're coming into election year. Trump's no dummy. He won't let the Fed raise rates or do quantitative tightening. Keep the rates low and possibly going lower. And more money printing until the election is what's going to happen. But after that, gold and silver are going to blast off. Interesting. Okay. Yes, Mike Wilson. Good point. He might be using it as an election ploy to get the economy to... Um, all right, Donald in Mexico removed his thumb down. Let's see if it actually... Oh, it's still there. Donald New Mexico's thumb down is still on the video. I see it. It's there. It's there. It's still there. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. Donald, what am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? Hey, C-Rod, thank you so much, my friend, uh, for the super chat there. Keep stacking, he says. Appreciate that, my friend. Very kind of you. Silver Steeler, have a good dinner. Yes, another awkward hug, long hug for the wife for me, please. Thank you, Silver Steeler. You are the man. Oh, that's yours. Oh, my goodness, Barbara Carbone. Okay, Barbara Carbone probably gave me a thumbs down because I've been pumping up Trump. Oh, five thumbs down. Dang it, son of a mudless goat. Silver Bean Counter is here. Silver Bean Counter is the man. Check him out on YouTube, and he's also on Instagram. Yes, he is. And, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, where are we at now? We're back up here. Mark Nordgaard. English people buy record amount of gold from Australia. Hmm, all right. Australia does produce some very nice gold pieces there, for sure. Yes, indeed. They sure do. Henry von Moog. They already own too much of our land. Might as well give them the gold, too. None of this really matters, though. The words military-industrial complex, if the systems gets too far to whack, well, then we drum some up sort of new war trade is at least is least of our problems. All right. Yeah, it could be interesting. Okay. 
Fake news, Mr. Popzilla says on this story. So he does not believe it. Okay. Does not believe it. We move on up the chain of comments here. Hello, Edward Leahy. Good to see you. Welcome. Thanks for popping in. Yes, indeed. Bill, our evil government are traitors. Law won't touch them to hell with them. Yes, indeed. All right. Not a big fan. I don't like the swamp in government. I'm not necessarily anti-government, but I am against the uh, the entrenched um, um, administrative state, for sure. Okay. Silver Strike says, very pretty, but probably a little expensive for me. Yeah, it's probably going to be pretty pricey is my guess, for the 2020 kook. All right. Still seems uh, crazy that Palladium and Platinum have switched positions in the traditional lineup. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it, Silver Strike? I agree, but hey, it uh, looks like it's not going to change anytime soon. All right, Cybercurrent Twitcher. I couldn't ever be that lucky, at least not all the time. I have a hole in my butt. <laughs> I hear you. All right, okay, Silver Honda, have a good night. Uh, appreciate you being here. I'm going to keep cook supper for Mrs. Silver Honda before she gets home from work. Casey Kasem says, keep your feet on your stack and keep slurping your coffee. All right. Uh, Ozzy Alchemist, who do you think is selling their wealth? Australia is everyone's beyond stripping our minds and buying up our land. I feel sick. No, I hear you. Yeah, it's crazy. It's full of resources, I guess, Australia is. Man, I hear you, my friend. So China buys U.S. gold, then uses it and all their electric, electronic goods to sell back to the U.S. Right, maybe that's the case. That's what I wonder if some of that is being used for the electronics instead of using their gold for it. Just saw on late night TV, 2009 S. Eagle selling for three thousand dollars. Wow. Well, yeah, on TV, they're gonna they're gonna inflate that up big time. Some of those HSN and you know and all that stuff. All right, Hot Neo, anyone thinks China only has 2K tons of gold is really inept. Most of the gold that comes out of the mines are owned by the Chinese. They go to the Swiss refiners and get sent to China. Yeah, so the, and it's the, the point is, from this post and others, is that we really don't know. China's pretty secretive, and uh, there's a lot we don't know what's going on there, for sure. All right. Part-time Prepper says, so when gold hits 40,000 an ounce, we will... Have them right where we want them. That's right. Exactly. Oh, my goodness gracious. Lo and behold, when I thought no more bling could actually go up, my wife found some more and have to go. Night. Okay. Have a good night, Jim. Thanks for popping in, my friend. Appreciate you. Silver Taniwa. It's lunchtime here. He must be in Australia, too, or New Zealand, maybe. Tasmania, perhaps. Don't tread on me, and he turned it into the authorities. That's right. Cosmic Karma Koala says he's a simpleton. All right. Let's see here. And um, as we move our way up here, got to go. I right, thank you, Silver Tiny Watt. Appreciate you being here. I think you're new here, so I appreciate it. Have a good lunch, my friend. Better lucky than good, says Veronica Stacks. Yes. All right. Thank you, Veronica, for the comment. Tricky Guy. Where is Tricky Guy, by the way? Where is Tricky Guy? I said keep our gold here. No international sales allowed. I think most people would agree with that. Where is Tricky Guy? Is he lurking? I don't know. Bill Rundle says, has U.S. put tungsten inserts again in the gold bars? This was also done during the Nixon administration, sold fake gold bars to China and other countries. Boy, were they pissed. Well, I'd like to see some evidence of that. I don't believe that uh, one bit, but it would be interesting to see if that was the case. All right, let's see here. Uh, Mahatiki Cap, playing devil's advocate. Are we very clever? The 40-year-old price of $40 was made to be broken and may even get demolished in this era of extreme everything. Some past winners named gurus on these markets are tongue-in-cheek saying we ain't seen nothing yet. Could they be right or just selling subscriptions? I think probably the latter is my case. But the thing is, you make bold predictions like that, and then you're wrong. Your credibility goes out the window. Just ask Andrew McGuire. Silver Heist says, The U.S. buys more scooters and tricycles from China than our top seller jet planes of them. Maybe the U.S. consumer should buy some gold instead. I think so. I think that would be wise. Yeah, Tricky is AWOL. 
Tricky is AWOL. Where is Tricky Guy? Eddie's Little Stack says, I like how he won the lottery and is still gardening and farming. I still wouldn't have turned it over to the government. I agree. And I do like that he does that, too. That's pretty cool. All right. And Silver Heist says, Gandhi is pissed. Well, just like some Scottish guy, the Indian needs to hand the coins into Queen Elizabeth II. That's right. Yes, indeed. All right. Thanks, Silver Heist. Appreciate you. Moving up the comment chain here. They know all the country stuff is counterfeit. Yeah. That's right. That's why we're not buying their gold, right? Because who knows? They might be the more likely the ones to send us with tungsten inserts. Kevin Michael, the guy keeps an eye on our leprechauns that are persistent, maniacal little buggers when it comes to it with their gold coins. Yes, they are. I'm back in the crack, says ASL Monty. Just bought the Rottweiler, raining in Edgewood. I'll roll one in your one honor. Very cool. Thank you, ASL. And his little stack is here with three dots. Good to see you. All right, Eugene Stoner says, one metric ton, 32,150 ounces. That leaves a whopping total of 68.516 ounces of silver per living person. If we assume the world's population of um, 7.5 billion, that ain't crap. And it's still only a ratio of 8.4 times above uh, ground silver to gold, about the same as the current mining ratio. This means the silver is grossly undervalued no matter how you look at it. Actually, that's wrong. Uh, that's the thing that people uh, fail to see. Uh, the mining ratio or the amount of above ground stocks from one metal to the other made, plays no, does not matter about the price. Just look at platinum. Platinum is a perfect example of it. Platinum is much rarer than gold, but is substantially cheaper than gold. See what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Some people just don't get that concept for some reason. But thanks, Eugene Stoner. I appreciate your comment. J. Howard J., maybe because most of the factories in the world are in China, a lot of our jobs have been exported to China. Yes. Could be. Med Gas Guy says, wow, I wish I could just be half as lucky as this man. By the way, that is a very nice looking silver round you've got there in Atmex. Very nice indeed. Well, thank you, Med Gas Guy. I appreciate that. I think you might be an Arizonian. I think that's the Arizona flag and your icon there. Thank you so much, sir. It's available at Atmex for those who are interested in it. Uh, the two ounce thick salivate metal round, um, still available. All right, um, uh, Peter Radzanski and Mother Nature told me eight to one ratio of gold to silver in the ground. Wow, we don't know really know what it's in the ground because a lot of it's still being discovered, but that's what it's being mined out as. But I think it's anywhere between nine to fifteen to one. All right, AG forty seven. Surfer says, nice. Thank you so much, my friend. I may have called him AG47 Silver earlier. Earlier I meant Surfer. He's an AG47 Surfer. Pamela Rice is here. Hello, Pamela Rice. Good to see you. Walter Gnome says, if you really look at the prices of silver, it's cheaper than dirt. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but it is cheap. All right. Where are we at? Okay, Mark... Whitney, the reason is jobs are up. Yes, yes, everybody's working. Very good news. Yes, indeed. 143 Jeweler, we're not done quite yet, sir. We're getting there, though. We're almost to the top. We might try to call our guy again. Uh, let's see here. Trump will win a second term, says Mark uh, Whitney. All right, we'll see. We'll see if he's right. We'll find out. Barbara Carbone used to keep his salamette round by my bedside. Now it's under the bed. With the dust bunnies. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. We've got a slurp to try to get it to elevate the silver round into good standing with Barb. My goodness gracious. How can we do this? Who can confirm above ground stockpiles the silver industry? Uh, yeah, I know. That's just it. We need to, we need to truly... Um, uh, we need a truly independent source. USGS is about as independent as I can think. Right? All right. Kitty rounds are killers. That's right, says Alan Gold. I wonder if Alan Gold has secretly bought any of my, my pumped up silver. I wonder if he's secretly bought it and his, holds it in his pocket. I'm probably, the guess is probably no, is my guess. I think I can make that guess safely, too. 
DXD 2018 silver ice like some eagle the new EV gold with China. How do you send back to Beijing, back to China to each pound of gold? Almost a hundred thousand Han. A dog eaters invaders from San Francisco, New York, Boston, or Las Vegas. I'm not sure I understand that comment. I think he was responding to Silver Heist. L'Enfant Terrible. All I know, keep buying physical. There's a reason why J.P. Morgan and Chinese have the most holding of physical silver. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Can we please call Stuffin' Me? She sounded so alone, so empty. Uh, Stephanie from a long time ago. She never answers her phone. We try. Let's make sure Sal's below ground stock forever. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, she's going to run it over with my car. Man, what's wrong? Barbara, what? why the hate, Barbara? Oh, my goodness. Why the hate on that silver? Shoot, if you send your Sal rounds to me, I will melt them down and do a pour video. There you go. Make them even more rare. And they'll just go through the roof. I mean, they're going to be the... I mean, again, you know, the rarity thing. You know, my rounds are not you know, not commanding anywhere near the premium uh, that most mintages of that size would, would uh, one would think. You know, why? Because I ain't nothing compared to the United States Mint or to silver or to gold or anything else. TH says... China can pay their workers way less than we can pay ours. End of story. China has no minimum wages. That's right. Very true. That's why we do a lot of business with China. Uh, let's see here. First buy, buy, buy. There we go. All right. Stack it low. It's okay to stack silver when prices are low. Video that I posted today. And Paul Deitch was first. Yes, he was. Barb is trying to help me. Okay, cool. Barb is trying to help me. Thank you, Barb. Calvin Cooper, hey Sal, I have five ASEs coming tomorrow. Congratulations, great buy, very good. Good foundational stack piece. Silver Eagles, way to go. All right, yes indeed. <clears throat> Lynn, I saw the Eagles S2009 sell for $2,900 on some home shopping network, yes. Doesn't surprise me one bit, Lynn. Does not surprise me. Silver Eagle roll winner tomorrow. Yes. Yes, that's right. Silver Bridge says tomorrow. He will. Yeah, so stay tuned for the video, to video tomorrow. Somebody will win that son of a biscuit. Hello, Food Stamp. Good to see you. All right, Food Stamp. I'm best when I'm playing guitar and not talking, and that's mediocre at best. Uh, let's see here. People do love to buy silver when prices are higher. That they do. That's true. Silver Wolverine says that. All right. Ah, oh, where are we at? Okay. Cliff, my job has relocated me to West Texas, and I purchased gold on the dip yesterday in Midland. Nice. Well, congratulations. Welcome to Midland, Texas, home of President George W. Bush and Laura Bush. All right, very good. 143 Druid. Silver is so cheap in relation to inflation, it's the least cost per ounce ever. However, I do expect a price drop when stocks tank and sheep will flee to the U.S. dollar. Availability may come into play, but silver's greatest rises or when the market begins recovery. But this is all based upon U.S. dollar strength, and that is a battlefield to most who do not comprehend, comprehend they are on. All right. Let's see here. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Tomoko's Enterprise says, if, if, It never fails as the day I buy the next few days, the spot drops like a rock. Oh, well, I have confident prices will climb in the coming year or so, and buying won't make a difference. That's right. you got to be patient with silver. Got to hold on. Um, yes, indeed. Got to hold on. Hold on tightly, not loosely. All right. How many grams in that ring? Uh, let's see. I think it's about... I'll have to look at the paperwork, but it's... Uh, let me see. I might even... I might have the paperwork here. Hold on a minute here. I think it's eight... Eight semigrams, 18 grams. 
It's 18 grams. 18 grams for that son of a biscuit. All right. What do we got here? We're still working it. All right, Travis. Hope that answers your question. Mimi matchup, ACD guitarist Angus Young versus U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. Oh, my goodness gracious, that's a tough one. That's a tough one because I like Stephen Mnuchin. I think he's a good Secretary of the Treasury. And um, Angus Young is a great guitar player for sure. Malcolm Young, though, was the, was the, um, he was the rhythm machine. He was one of the best rhythm guitar players out there. But that's a toss up. I got to go with Steve Mnuchin. I got to go with Steve Mnuchin. Yes, indeed. Michael Sorrell. I've bought silver and gold for 40 years, but started buying one tenth gold eagles as well to break the monotony a bit. Yeah, very good. I hope you can buy them, find them at a good deal, uh, not pay too high of a premium for them. That's the only thing about tenth ounce gold. Uh, let's see here. $100 bills and no Coke residue. Wow, nice. Mark B. Saw $100 bills with no Coke residue. That's good. Charles Wagner. When silver goes to $15, that's when I buy and sell usually around $17 to $20. I'm back to stacking now. That prices are down. Cool, Charles. I would even hold on past $17 and $20 if I were you. Yes, indeed. Mike Miller says, bad weather means bad paychecks. In the construction field, my buying slowed way down last month, but it happens every year. At least I can still pay the bills. I'm thankful for that. Yes, me too, Mike Miller, and thanks for all you do in the construction industry. Okay. Silver Turtle 65 says, I would agree it's better to buy it when it's low. We know what it feels like to buy in the 30s and watch it fall to the teens. Have to have strong hands and patience with the metals. Yes, indeed. That's exactly right. Thanks, Silver Turtle. Moving on up here. Um, Jason Bone, give the kitty a head scratch for me, Sal. Hi, Barbara Carbone and the rest of Sal's gals. Yes, thanks to Jason Bone. Thanks to the Sal gals. Uh, it was your video. Which video? Uh, yeah, it's probably an older video because I don't remember that. It must have been an older video that I did. It showed $100 bills, yeah. Kuna Coin says, Sal, you would think this wouldn't have been, have to be said, but it really does. Thanks, Sal. Can't wait for the live stream. Thanks, Kuna Coins. Appreciate you. All right. Very good. And guys, the support is great. Let's see how many thumbs down. We got six thumbs down on this thing now. Good grief. Six thumbs down on this video. Man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got to tell this guy I'm alive right now. David was asking me where the light, live stream was. I'm live right now. All he's got to do is go to my channel and you'll see it. All right, let's see here. Jay Godwin, the official reserves for China are highly suspicious as they have other places to keep it besides the People's Bank of China, which is what is officially reported on people like gold money's analyst Alice Dare McLeod estimated over 20,000 tons held by the government. But where most uh, goes is the Shanghai Gold Exchange, where it is dispersed into jewelry and also into bars and coins. For investment, the Chinese public have an avid appetite for the yellow metal. Yes, that is true. They do. They have an avid appetite for them, for sure. Yeah, where is, where is Bone? Where is Jason Bone? Jace James Bates says... Sal, I've been stacking for 15 years. For the last three years, I've been buying silver every week. I feel silver has been in discount since the price dropped in 2017. Yes, I think so too. And I really do, I'm of the mind that uh, under $20 is probably a pretty good deal for silver. Uh, Maha Tiki Cat says, we're still in the anger or depression phase uh, of the market cycle in silver. We're still looking at two to three years out until a sustainable recovery and bull run. That's right. Not flirting with girls enough. Women are vindictive. Yes, indeed. I need to flirt with the girls more. I've been out doing lots of cyber shopping. All for me. There he goes, Barbara Carbone. Nice. All right, yes. Hugs to all the girls out there. All right. Valuable insight on Silver Sal. I'll never stop collecting the pieces I like. 
Very good. Yes. That's what it's about. Enjoying it. You know what I mean? You're always protected by the intrinsic. Catherine Turley says, Aloha. Aloha to you with a hibiscus. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, Catherine. Are you from Hawaii? The lovely nation of Hawaii? Uh, only th nine thumbs down now. You should have dropped one for ten. Oh, man. Might as well. Good grief. Ah, there's eight. Somebody took away theirs. Nice. All right. Very good. Let's see here. So you don't have to do it now, Dru Druid. You don't have to thumb it down now to keep it in line. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? Hey, Sal, you were right. That's why I stopped buying silver a long time ago. Might be a good time to start again, though, Terry. Might be a good time to start again. Start again. It's a white wedding with Terry and Silva. Because she loves Silva. She loves it. She has a secret love affair with Silver. Terry does. Big Island. All right. That means she lives on the Highland Island of Hawaii, which means there's probably an 80% chance that she lives in the city of Hilo. H-I-L-O. Am I right? Let me see how right I am, Catherine. Which means it's still early. It's still daylight over there in, in Hawaii on the Big Island. Late arrival, buddy, is here. The one and the only Jason Bone. Good to see you, my friend. Silver Britches says, I hope it continues to drop like a rock. I need more. Thanks for the carousel of wealth. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed that video. All right. Let's see here. All right. Oh, Barbara Carbone has lots of batteries. Hmm. That could mean several things. And where my mind is going on that one is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, where we go? Silver Honda says, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you. You have a great way of explaining silver. I only buy what I can afford to do, so no matter how silver spot prices fluctuate, like, but like to buy low. Yes, indeed. Very good. And you got a, had a great video today that showed showed that. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Uh, why may ya? Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, thank you, Catherine. So I was wrong. It's not Hilo. All right, very good. But that's cool. Love to visit Hawaii sometime. That'd be cool. Silver Heist says, I'm enjoying the ride on the Silver Merry-Go-Round. There you go, Silver Heist. Well said. Great comment, my friend. All right. Lady Bullion is still here with us, everybody. Give her a big hug for me. All right. She's the... Originator of the term Sal's Gals. So we have our Sal's Gals here. Lady Bullion, Barbara Carbone. We had Pamela Rice earlier. We have um, Budenda Johnson earlier. We had a lot of people here. All right. Terry79. The marketplace attempts to separate the money from the investor. That it does. We will add tariffs to gold after China has bought what they want. Yes. The slippery drip says that. All right. It'll be interesting to see. Sad but true. All right. Where are we at? Okay. That Germania says Northeast. Yes. Look at that five ounce Germania and this little carousel of silver. Waimea Bay, Why, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, I, I added 10 ounces this month, says Wild Turkey. Wish I could do more. Life has other priorities, but I buy when I can. There you go. 10 ounces are pretty good in a month, I think. Good job, Wild Turkey. I think that's awesome. All right, let's see here. Donald, New Mexico. Hey, Sal, silver's back on sale. Buy low, so high. Silver's a great investment. 2019 ASA number 16, signed for $14,001. I saw that coin word article. Unsigned 70 grade sales for $6,700. Um, yes, great collections. I still think you should have soldiers. Should not have soldiers so cheap. Think it was mine in for grading this week. Very cool. Yeah, I know. I. Uh, but the thing is, is, you know, I took my chances, and obviously hindsight is only 2020, but that's okay. I'm happy. I got some gold for it. And, um, you know, oh, well, you live and learn. I was never a flipper. I was never good at timing things. I missed a boat on that one, but that's okay. 
Silver Punzel says, like, thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Meow says, Wild Turkey. So he saw the end of this video. Very good. Nice. Appreciate that. Very soft and cuddly little kitty there at the beginning. Drain, drain the Swamp is here. Hello, Drain the Swamp. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Pablo Malaga. Silver should go up 50 times faster before it's ever recycled from landfills. Kuz Jansen is a shill. Uh, he cannot be ignorant. It says to say 94% of silver is recycled. There are those silver recycling plants. Complete BS from that moron. Most available silver comes from mining. Uh, a little bit from scratch. The jewelry is almost nothing from industrial. Has anyone seen something taking broken mirrors into a silver recycling plant? Or old pictures and old iPhone? There is nothing coos because people just promote gold and disincentivize silver buying. Well, yeah, we did talk about that, Pablo. The way that uh, silver is, um, it's not worth it to recycle from mirrors and electronic devices yet. Stacking Stormtrooper is here. Good to see you, Stacking Stormtrooper. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Yes, indeed. All right, let's check the markets here, people. What are the markets doing now? Well, they're up a little bit. Gold is up $1.10, 0.08%. Silver is the clear winner of the hour and a half. Silver is up $0.02, 1669 folks. Palladium's down four cents, and platinum is just below nine hundred dollars. There we go. All right, very good. Let's see here. Um, platinum is tempting me more lately, but yes, silver is cheap. Yes, I like platinum. I don't know. I think it's a. I'm going to try to get some more platinum uh, in the coming year. I think. Cyber curtain twitcher. It's late in the season to planting my silver hedging, so we'll start in the spring. Yes. Sometimes you got to wait to buy. So I understand that, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. I understand that completely. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Pamela Rice is here. Still here. Very good. Thanks, Pamela. My ladies man in a good way. Oh, I'm very kind of you. But really, if you saw me, you'd probably puke. That's okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Gene uh, Pullman says a stacker gets screwed. He has to sell it under spot. He has to buy it over spot. Doing the math doesn't make sense, but we do it in a way because we are addicted. We suffer from a chronic case of silver fever. There's no cure for the disease. All right. Well, you know, the thing is, is silver, it's one of those things where it's meant as a savings. And we have to basically pay that premium. Um, and hopefully the silver spot price will go up to absor uh, absorb that premium. But it will take a while. It will take a while. You know what I mean? B. Demon says the kitty hypnotist will trade your silver for kitty nibbles. That's right. Exactly right. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. And uh, drain the swamp. More, more likes than watching. You're just as cool as Stormy. Not the other YouTubers. They suck. Oh, man. Well, thank you. Appreciate that, my friend. Just appreciate you guys being here. It does mean a lot to me. Got 70 watching, 76 thumbs up. We Our thumbs down has, has dwindled some. We're down to six. That's good. All right. I think those people are long gone, though. They really didn't like it. But anyways, but thank you, guys. Precious Metals Updates. Thank you so much uh, for the, um, uh, again, for that article, my friend. And yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Uh, breaking news, everybody. Hillbilly is live on the news unit. Uh, this is something that we must, uh, this is newsworthy, folks. We've got to, uh, we've got to see what's, go oh, it's unavailable. Let me see here. I might have to do this here. We've got to see here if we can try to catch this here. There may be a chance. We may. Oh, no. Wait a minute here. Let's see. Just a minute here. Uh, nope. Nothing's going on there. I don't not. Uh, I think she's good for pigs. Oh, Here he is. Oh shit! All right, here's Hillbilly, everybody. Let's see what Hillbilly has to say to God us. Here, get my glasses off. Fucking steam up now. Fuck all white people. I hear you. Fuck the niggers. <laughs> no, I guess that's it. That's all that. That's all that is. That's all Hillbilly will say. Good grief, that racist. Good grief. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's it for Hillbilly. Uh, yeah. I think, well, <laughs> come on, Hillbilly. Good grief. Give us something. Get, throw us a bone here. I mean, you know, good grief. Oh, gosh. 
143 Druid says, To put this up, you must be headed out to the mall for your jam session. Christmas jam, that is, or snort or a meth head or a stripper or blister, says Druid. All right, very good. Yeah, that was Stacking Stroke Trooper. That's Hillbilly. He is like an unfiltered, uh, um, um, he's he's interesting character. He's an interesting character, to say the least. And um, he says whatever is on his mind or even what's on other people's mind. And uh, it can be very, very um, unfiltered. He's even gone as far as Stacking Stroke Trooper to spit on the news unit. There's another guy. And news unit literally could not take that. And he had banished the hillbilly for quite some time before. And uh, the hillbilly has made his back way into, into his graces. But now I go to catch to see what he's saying a little bit. And I get the, he drops the end bomb. It's crazy. All right. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. So we had to pull away from that. Hillbilly has been bounced. All right. So very good. Uh, let's see. So this... Uh, Tessa Cunningham, next time, tell them you want to start a Kitty Olympics. There you go. Yes, indeed. Good idea, Tessa. The great idea. We should do a Kitty Olympics when we call the scammers next time. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay. Um, Food Stamp says, what's up, Mr. SM and everybody? Except for Alan Gold. As we should clarify. Except... I hate this thing is so slow when it types. Except for Alan Gold. All right, come on. There we go. You tell him, Uncle Sal. He sounded interesting, interested yet totally lost. That he was. MA matchup, basis flea, Michael Balzari. I didn't know that was his real name. Michael Balzari versus presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg. Going to have to go with flea, even though they're both probably from the same ideological spectrum. At least flea has some talent. All Michael Bloomberg has is a lot of money. <clears throat> you know, but money won't buy you talent on the base, that's for sure. All right, very good. Buffalo Bullion, stop bursting my bubble, Sal. Silver to the moon. It'll be one $100 next year, and I'll be rich. There you go. There you go. All right. Buffalo Bullion. We can hope, but, you know, but in other ways, we don't want to hope. No caps, Sal. No caps. That's right. All right. Hillbilly <laughs> is a ratings bonanza. That's right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Crazy. We had to cut away from Hillbilly. He dropped the end bomb on here. Not good. Interesting how, actually it was over there, I just snuck in and heard it. Interesting now how everyone is bolstering their reserves, bringing back gold to its own country. Meanwhile, the U.S. decides it's good. In fact, let's sell some. China has had the U.S. bent over for years in trade. That's right. Looking forward to move on spot before the 15th. Hopefully a nice healthy dip and add some totals to this year's stack. There will be no signing of a trade agreement until next year about this time. I tend to agree. I think that probably won't happen until next year either. Thanks for the video. Good stuff, bud. Thank you, C-Rod. I appreciate you, my friend. A good guy, C-Rod is. Appreciate that. All right, Stacking Suit Trooper says, Today in my LCS, a person asked me, Are you open today? Is the LCS open today? And Stacking Trooper, Storm Trooper said, I guess so. I guess they're open on Sunday. Let's go inside. And, uh... And this person asked if he's the stacking stormtrooper. I couldn't believe it. I said, yes, one of the few who have seen my face. He and Barbara Carbone. Barbara Carbone has seen your face? Are you kidding me right now or later? More slurps for ECP. Yes, indeed. Wow. So somebody recognized you. I've not had that yet. Uh, anybody recognize me yet? That's crazy. Were you wearing your helmet at the time? Is that what it is? You walked into the LCS with your helmet on? I can't believe your LCS was open on a Sunday. That just boggles my mind. Daniel Rodriguez, I love the Unicornicus. Thank you. Yes, indeed, the Unicornicus. Daniel Rodriguez, I don't know what the Unicornicus. Oh, that must have been the statue there, I guess. Yes, indeed. All right, I've not seen Stack and Stormtrooper's face. All right. L-M-A-O, Medtow. There you go, W-T-H. You got it, my friend. You got it? Ah, an ECP. Very good. All right. He's very cute. Awesome. I'm jealous now. I'm jealous. 
Stormy's cute and I'm not. That's right, ACP, and I have FaceTime. Oh, that's wow. Did you time your faces? Did, did you have a stopwatch uh, when you showed each other your face and you clicked it and then you timed yourself? That's FaceTiming. Bab loves masked creeps. Everybody will see my face. I'm not shy. He's so shy. Huh? Very good. No, I wasn't wearing the helmet. I guess my voice. And maybe he knew I went to the store. And maybe he knew your height, too. Five foot seven. Is that right? Five foot nine. Barbara Carbone, should I do a face reveal? Yes, let's do it. Do it on my channel, Stacking Stone Trooper. I have to figure out how to get you in on here. I don't know if you're cute or not, Sal. Yeah. The jury is still out. The jury, I have the grand jury has been convened on that. Terry still hasn't recovered. Press Metals Updates, that's right, he did see me too. Press Metals Updates on too. Centuria Sylvia says, but Sal, the price always goes down. Silver is like square wheels on a bus. Oh, man. Well, I uh, don't say that for last week when it went up 30 cents. I mean, it wasn't a, a huge spike, but it was a pretty big increase. It goes up and it goes down. It goes all around. All right. C-Rod has two. C-Rod, oh, well, man, everybody's seen his face. Oh, man, yes, indeed. I've heard his face. I have heard Stacking Stormtrooper's face. I have heard it. I can say that. All right. Food stand. Uh, Barbara Carbone says, you're very convincing, Sal. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to mediate a love affair between Silver and Terry, 79. I'm going to... It's going to be a romance of all ages. They're going to be writing movies about it, about the romancing the silver. It'll be a epic movie classic. It'll be a two and a half hour epic extravaganza. Let's see here. You always say you're not. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Barbara Karma. But that is not reverse psychology when I say that. It's not just the face. It's the whole package is not that appealing. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, Adonzito, Adon, Adon says a video about the price of gold could be of interest. Also, the ins and outs of stacking gold. So many tubers focused on silver. Hearing about gold would be refreshing. Thank you for your videos. I do enjoy your information and passion for this hobby. Well, thank you. Actually, I post equal. I give equal time. I do a lot of videos on gold. Um, and uh, there's a... Um, um, uh, so yeah, I, I love gold. I do post about it. Just go through my videos, peruse it, and you'll see a lot of videos about gold. Thank you so much, though, for Don Cinto. Okay, he shut the stream down. It was probably was um, it was probably YouTube that caught it with their algorithm using that N word repeatedly. Um, we'll do probably do it is my guess. Public awareness: gold statue to silver. Last name: Metal. There you go. Thank you, Silver Hondo. Had a little fun. We called a scammer. It was yesterday. I had a little fun with him. Great. Thank you. I had to do a little video on that. It was fun. Calling these scammers. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Mendel. Everybody knows that scammers will not accept silver as payment, but they will gladly sell it to you all day long. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. Son of a motherless goat. Hashtag. Thank you so much. Let's have a slurp in uh, Barb's honor. I know what Barbara Carbone looks like. And you do too. There she is, right there. Right, see her? Right there she is. Right there she is. Uh, let's see her. Hey, Sal, for those buying at today's prices, I say don't hold back. I have placed orders for hundreds of ounces of silver over $30. I'm sure some of you did also. At this juncture of my life, I want to start traveling before health or old age prevents it. So, what route do I take? Sell to loss or take a loan and hope Silver's game will offset the Norse interest? My children have all told me that I have done more than enough for them and that I should enjoy whatever money my Silver brings me. All replies welcome, soft, and cuddling the job. Well, good question. I think that um, I would say sell whatever you want um, and take the loss. Um, and, um, you know, especially if you bought a lot of that over, over 30, if you bought hundreds of it over $30, um, hopefully you would have bought before and dollar cost average so the pain wouldn't be as much. But I would say sell it and enjoy yourself at your age, being retired and all. All right. Let's see here. 
Hoddle. Yes, indeed. Hoddle, 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 John Runyon. Hold on for dear life. Uh, who says turd anymore? I guess that's Stacking Stormtrooper. He calls people turd all the time. Like Turd Ferguson. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Silver Steeler says, Don't shoot it. I don't want to strike or I'll send it to you. Who doesn't know what that cold hard cash must be kept cold? He won't forget that phone call for a while. That's right, Silver Steeler. He shan't forget it. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see here. Hi, Steve. A little kitty. Very good. All right, let's see here. What an excellent concept. All right, thank you so much, Speedin. 108. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. Alan Mold with an M. He says Sal is the ultimate disgrace for promoting the worst savings vehicle in recorded history. Silver obliterates wealth. Alan Gold has been smoking too much crack and snorting too much cocaine over here in California. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Buyer says, I will buy it at any cost in dollars. It is my belief the dollar will be worth nothing. In due course, all fiat currencies do end up uh, going by the way wayside or being reset. What's better than wasting a scammer's time? That's exactly right. We love to do it. Speaking of which, uh, we need to <clears throat> try to get the hold of our friendly scammer. Let's try it again. Let me see if I can do it. I don't know if it'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's see here. Let's try to see here. This is John trying John for the last time tonight Probably won't answer but You know what I mean? He probably won't answer but we'll give it a shot John 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 Long John. This is Long John We've been going for over two hours now folks. This is insane. Showstopper, I love silver, but I believe it can it can't hold a candle to the power of compound. Your energy. call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging sides. system. Five one six three zero five one one nine eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. John Martin, I was calling about the loan for the business, and I was wondering if uh, we could discuss the matter, please, on the telephone. It would be nice to hear each other's voices and conversation. Uh, so if you could uh, do me a solid and uh, answer the phone uh, when I call again. Thank you so much, John. I will talk to you very soon. See ya, John. He must sense the sincerity of seriousness in my voice there. He's got he's got to be the case. Anyways, uh, yes, the point is the diversification, and that's right, showstopper. Uh, always uh, keep in mind that for those of us who are honest with ourselves and others, nothing wrong with having other investments out there, vanguards and things like that, making money, investing, having a little bit of diversification, Silver should just be part of that diversification, I think. You know what I'm saying? All right. What's on the uh, that coin he points to? 1018 when he points ancient times. That's kind of cool looking. That is an Italio mint. Uh, ancient Greek tetragon or whatever you call those things. Silver round by the Italio mint. Who was just a minute. Sal Gal, I am. Yes, you are. Pamela Rice, we love you. You are awesome. Pamela Rice is awesome. Sal, that is a very business-like voice. I'm sold on giving you a loan already. Well, thank you. Pressure Metals update. Try my best. JW says that's a big, chunky piece in the center. You selling? Um, well, thanks, my friend. That's actually a relatively low mintage piece. The quality of the first year of the Next Generation series. I probably will hold on to that, but thank you so much for asking. 
Um, I do like Dip Tip the Coin. Bob the Monk, just like Speed and Race goes, silver will always be a part of my life, especially at current prices. Me too. I like silver. I invest in silver, so I like it. Invest, invest, invest in silver. Invest in silver. Silver is an investment. Invest in silver. Invest, invest. You got to invest in silver. It's the only way to do it. There's no way to accumulate silver. You got to invest in it, just like Donald New Mexico says. Invest, invest, invest. I'm kidding. I had to get that out there for Donald. Uh, let's see here. Can you order cookies via drone? Yes, indeed. I've got a cookie drone delivering business. That's right. Exactly. Yes, I do. All right, guys. We've reached the end of our road. We're over, we're over two hours in this thing. Barbara Carbone loves silver, gold too, but there's something about silver. Maybe because it's more relatable. Uh, the kitty looks exquisite. Sweet face. Thanks, Sal. Thank you, Barbara Carbone. I agree with you all around. Yes, indeed. No Oreos now, but we will have some other stuff. Rhodium rules, sees the Peterson. Rhodium does rule. It is the king of the precious metals now. Um, Keith, hi. I buy low, and if I can buy under spot. There you go, Keith. Smart man. Donald New Mexico. Alan Golden Tricky Guy are right about you pumping silver. That's right. Exactly right. We're pumping it up. We're pumping. Pump, up, pump, pump, pump. Pump and circumstance. Close to the invest. That's right. Mr. Octopus, next DTEP, how to actually get the money without having to pay it back. That's exactly right. That's be the next question. I like to make art out of silver. Very good, Van Wood. It's fun. It is fun. It is very cool. WTF, we're all screwed. Just to keep the uh, Trump family going, I heard Goldman Sachs rob China out of their gold, and now all of us are given into them with their own personal not good wake-up America. Next 5G so they can fry our brains if they think we'll get... Out of line. Sick. Yes, we shall see. All right. Chief of Chiefs, and whether it drops or goes up, I'm still a buyer. Very good. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Pump up the jam. The silver jam. That's right. Sunshine is waving hello. Hello, sunshine. New here, I think, sunshine is. Thank you so much for being here. Sal, how in the world would you get so many scanners on the hook? Uh, they, they're, they're a dime a dozen, literally. These scammers are all over the place. It's crazy. I mean, just all over the place, these scammers. It's just nuts. But uh, anyways, but yeah. All right, where are we at here? And how do people get so lucky? I've never been so lucky. Neither have either. Neither have either. Quite a lucky day. All right, where are we at? Okay. Tomoko's Enterprise, I sure can do, can't do what you do so well, my friend. That's just a blast, bud. Uh, go get them. That's right. We like to have fun with these scammers. Yes, indeed. Waste their time. Yes, indeed. Mm. I, I'm all out of water now. <clears throat> Dr. Bill used to do commercials or sing Silver Bells for Christmas. Silver Bells. Silver Bells. That's all the, the words I know to that hymnal. If it's even a hymn. I don't think it's a hymn, is it? But silver bells are cool. But thank you, Dr. Bill. All right. Well, folks, I think we've come to the end of our journey here tonight. I love silver and deer jerky. I do, too. Hillbilly prepping. Deer jerky is awesome. Check out his channel. He does some prepping. He killed a deer. You can see the blood trail. Very pretty cool. But he's going he's gonna to actually recycle that deer into some good food. So the deer didn't die in vain. Hello, it's Dive. Hello, Dive. Good to see you. Thank you so much, my friend. <clears throat> and uh, there's, I don't know what this means, but thank you, 54. I don't have time to translate it because i got to go. But thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. A multitude of gratitude. Appreciate all of you for showing up here. Thanks so much, Dr. Bill. You're new here, so I appreciate you. Sunshine is new here. Thank you for being here, Sunshine. Have a good evening, everybody. We'll be here Tuesday again. Remember, 6 o'clock Eastern Time is always the time on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I appreciate you guys. A multitude of gratitude to you all. And I'll leave you with this. Keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground.